Overcooked too. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words of the developer. Overcooked returns with a brand new helping of chaotic cooking action. Journey back to the Onion Kingdom and assemble your team of chefs in classic couch co-op or online play for up to four players. Hold on to your aprons. It's time to save the world again. Yes, guys, it's Overcooked 2. Now, I never even played Overcooked 1, so I don't know a lot about the differences between the two, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to focus on what Overcooked 2 is. It has a story that I pretty much skipped after the first helping of it. It was just bollocks, basically. I mean, bollocks. Bollocks, basically. But it was, it was like a kid's story. It was just bollocks. So I just skipped through all of that. Thankfully, that is only a small snippet of the actual game. The game is all about cooking. It's about cooking. It's about delegating. It's about teamwork. Um, this is a single player game. It's also online co-op and it's also couch co-op, local co-op. Um, but having played both single player and co-op with another person and co-op with three people and co-op with four people, I have to say right now that if you're buying this for single player only, just don't bother. Don't bother. You can play with strangers online if you have a, a, a public lobby. That's fine. If you don't mind playing with strangers, then fine. But this is really a game to play with your friends or your family. And what you do is you control a little chef guy and in the top left of the screen you will see a line of orders and the orders will have ingredients on what how to make that order whether you have to fry them steam them boil them cook them or whatever and you have to work together to get that dish out as soon as possible because each dish is timed and it's up to you to look at which one has the shortest time and get that dish out. And that's when the chaos comes in because it's not as simple as just chopping up steak, putting it in a frying pan, getting some chips in the deep fat fryer and doing steak and chips and serving. Because the kitchens in this game would give Gordon Ramsay a coronary. They really would because things start moving around. You'll be chopping on the chopping board and all of a sudden the chopping board moves. Then you might have a a kitchen where it's split in half and one half's on one airship and one half's on the other airship and this is where you have to throw ingredients to each other you might have the fries at one side and the ingredients for the fries at the other so you've got to throw ingredients and it's hilarious because you kind of miss a lot and you'll throw stuff overboard you'll throw it and hit people in the face it's just great you can actually throw stuff directly into the fries or into the um the steamers if you're a good enough shot and it looks really cool when that happens but the whole thing is just absolute organized chaos and what we found on some of the harder maps some of the later maps is you have to do them over and over again if you want that really good score and we did want a, want a good score on the maps so you try and delegate and say right i'll be on chopping you be on frying you be on the rice and then you just have somebody calling out the tickets and just trying to organize people and it's it all kind of goes well for the first 30 seconds to a minute and then generally speaking it just breaks down into complete and utter chaos as each map becomes harder and harder and more fun to be honest with you there are a couple of maps that weren't fun uh, that were just plain damn annoying but most of them are really fun bloody maps there's a shit ton of maps as well by the way absolute loads of maps on this there's also versus mode in this which is really good fun we had a really good laugh with that where you go head to head with another team and we actually thought we'd won that last night but what we were actually doing was not paying attention to the kitchen the way the kitchen changes in the middle of a game for example when you get a dish ready to serve you serve it through a hatch and the hatches had actually changed places so we were serving through i think it was the red hatch and uh, it just swapped around to the blue and we didn't realize that it had swapped and we were we were throwing our completed dishes out of the wrong bloody serving hatch giving the the other team points so you have to be be careful when you're playing this but it's really good fun it's a really fun co-op game one of the best co-op games you'll play on the pc um well on pc and xbox and, and playstation as well but it's one of the most stressful. It is severely stressful, this game. Really stressful. And you will have arguments. Now, it's worth mentioning the controls. I played with a mouse and keyboard for the first few dishes. And then I switched to control and found it way easier. The mouse and keyboard controls suck. And the reason is, is you can't rebind the keys. Now, I think they've done that for a reason. Um, I thought about it at first and was going to rant about it. But I think they've done it to make the game 
just that little bit harder because you've got chop and throw is the same bloody key and it's the same on the on the controller as well so you're liable liable to be chopping something and then just press that button a little bit too much and then you throw it away and that happened a lot when we were playing this um, so I think that's the reason uh, for that but still I find the keyboard control so bad specifically with sad um, is what you have to use which is f***ing awful um, but alt is the, the dash button which means you have to bring your thumb under your hand which is uncomfortable why the hell it couldn't be another key is just beyond me but it's bloody ridiculous you like need claw hand to play it um, I played it with a controller and never had any issues other than the usual stuff that you get with a controller trying to be accurate in the positioning of, of your character because the thumbsticks are absolutely f***ing awful but you know that's a controller um, but it does work better with a controller bear that in mind and it works seamless with a controller as well there's, there's no problems using the controller sorry if your voice sounds a bit hoarse um, probably with all the shouting playing this to be honest but there you go guys Overcooked 2 is a really fun game I haven't come across many bugs in it at all um, it looks good it sounds good it's got good music it's got it's just a great little game to play um, it's not the cheapest of games it's £20 but you can get this cheaper on Green Man Gaming well you could yesterday I'm assuming you still can I think it's uh, £15 so it's five pound cheaper than steam don't forget to press the code in the description of this video and then you'll be supporting the channel as well but there you go guys overcooked 2 is a terrific little fun co-op game